Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, Apple put porn in iOS 5. Right there in the dictionary application. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You can try it for yourself. Porn is in there. I don't know if you need the definition of porn. I think we all kind of know what it is. But essentially, if you type any word in any application and then you tap it after you've selected it, uh, you can choose the option to define. And so you've got a full-on dictionary right there uh, within iOS 5. And so I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is usage. Now, I know you're saying, well, I use my phone. I know I use my phone. But here's the thing. You download several dozen, hundreds, thousands of apps. Do you know which ones are taking up the most data or, I guess, storage on your device? Not necessarily. So inside of iOS 5, if you go into settings and then usage, you will list or you will see a list populated that is sorted by size uh, what's taking up the most space on your device? So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that so you, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. See, it'll be the graphic will be pulled up in the video as it's like that. Did you see that? That's that's what it looked like. Isn't that great? The magic of video editing as as we're moving along. The next thing I wanted to tell you to explore really in iOS 5 is something that you may not have thought about: the accessibility options in iOS 5. There are a few really interesting things in here uh, beyond zooming. Uh, which it had been there for a while beyond large text, white on black, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you can now set custom vibrations. So if I wanted to, if I tilt it the right way, when you set custom vibrations, let's say my girlfriend Diana texts me and it's in my pocket and I, I, I hear a buzz or a buzz buzz. Well, that's a vibration, but if I set hers to buzz, 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 then I would know without even looking at the phone, oh, Diana is texting me or she's calling me. That's Diana. Okay, so custom vibrations are nice. You can also set LED flash for alerts uh, and also turn on triple click home uh, and assistive touch. Uh, so you can essentially uh, uh, use gestures to control uh, what's going on on your iPhone. So there are a lot of options in accessibility. You should definitely dive in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the iPad for just a second. This has, of course, been updated with iOS 5. I wanted to show you that, look at that, Emoji is now a keyboard. You don't need to install any third-party apps. Emoji can be enabled on the iPad or the iPhone or iPod Touch. It's now a, a, an international keyboard. So if I go in here uh, to keyboard... And then international keyboards, you can see right there, emoji. I just took a screenshot. That's how you take a screenshot in case you didn't know. It's been available in iOS for, you know, I think, pretty much since the beginning. It's basically hold on to the power button, the home button, press it at the same time, and then it goes, Ch -ch -ch, saves it to your camera roll, and you are good to go. So there we go. Uh, now, while I'm in here, I want to show you something else. Underneath international keyboards, you will see the option for shortcuts. You can define macros. Isn't that amazing? See, I take a screenshot of the thing that you're already seeing on your screen, up close and personal. So I've defined uh, my email address with C dash, and that will automatically fill out when I type it in on the keyboard and hit space. Chris at Perillo.com or OMW, which is the default on my way. You want to define macros? You can do it in iOS. That's available on either the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. It's throughout. Uh, the next thing I wanted to uh, explain to you is nothing. Because I want you to share your tip or trick related to iOS 5, did you find something that no one else is really talking about that you found interesting, useful, uh, in any capacity? Uh, yeah, just uh, leave the comment. Like this video, please. Just like it. That's all. Just wait. Comment in a second. Like. Okay, now that you've liked the video, now you can leave a comment. Unless you already left the comment without even watching this video. In which case, dude, why, why am I doing this video? Why don't I just, like, upload nothing and have you comment on nothing? But hopefully you'll like it. I liked it, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. So uh, I'm interested in uh, your tips or tricks because I could always learn something new. Uh, you know, I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. And if anybody claims that they know everything, they're wrong. They're lying. And you can call them on it. You can tell them that Chris Perillo said they don't know everything. Just saying. Nobody knows everything. Oh, okay, fine. You do. Kidding. Maybe you do. I don't know. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you can follow me all over social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google Plus, and beyond. Got over 100,000 followers on the uh, uh, Facebook, and, or not Facebook. Facebook's only got 31,000. It's kind of lagging behind. Does anybody still use Facebook? Really? Maybe you do. I don't know.
I would be shocked. I'm uploading funny pictures to Facebook and Google Plus and, and Twitter, like little comics that I'm making to go along with the stories from LockerGnome.com. So if you like humor, or at least my brand of humor, you know where to find me. And then, of course, if you don't know where to find me, you can see my live video feed with a chat room that's integrated with a whole bunch of geeks, and we're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even if I'm not here in my chair here at the home office. Uh, we're streaming live at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.